In athleticism, then, quality of movement always trumps quantity of movement. Generally, the way we begin teaching bone rhythms is to use a squat. As an example, you want to first learn the movement of the femur. The femur is your big leg bone moving from the hip down to the knee. By training to work this technique at all speeds, you wind up developing huge amounts of precision that can translate into your sprinting, cutting, and other motions. To begin working on the femur bone rhythm, you're going to focus on the hips and the knees. The concept being that instead of focusing on the different muscles that you typically would emphasize in the gym when working on squatting, you want to start finding the bones. If you think about the tip of the hip and the knee, because it is one bone as you squat, you can facilitate the speed and precision of your movement by trying to focus on moving both ends of the bone at the same time.